First pitch coming up on a fine afternoon in Oakland. A's baseball is on the air next. Afternoon baseball from the East Bay and the O.Co. Coliseum in Oakland. Ought to be a good one here between the American League's Houston Astros and the Oakland A's. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here for this AL West matchup. I'll be joined in the booth shortly by longtime big leaguers Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. But first, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Houston Astros. His manager Bo Porter reminds his guys like this. They'll go to work against one of many young pitchers the A's rode to the 2012 AL West title, the hard-throwing right-hander Jared Parker. Jose Altuve will step to the plate now as we're ready to get this one underway. Jose Altuve. And underway from Oakland as the first pitch of the afternoon is taken for ball one. First pitch, 107. And now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game. And Jaso's throw will be in time, so the bunt for hit attempt is snuffed out. So Parker able to keep the leadoff man off base here. And with that, let's look at how Oakland aligns defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring in the shortstop, Jed Lowry. Fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Our temperature should get us up into the 70s as we move along. 68 at first pitch. one -oh on the way. Here's a ground ball to first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Well, in most cases, once he kicks this thing, it's going to be a sure error. But luckily for him, he's got a diesel tanker headed down the first baseline. So he's able to gather this thing up and still get the out at first. Brett Wallace will take his cuts now. Brett Wallace. First pitch coming. And that's in there for strike one. Goes right back to the changeup. Tough pitch back to back. It's 0-2 now. This is the trouble when you're facing a guy like this. You get into a hole, and now you don't know what to look for. He's got four pitches he could turn to here. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first, and now the A's offense gets its first shot here. No score. There you see the starting lineup for Oakland now. And 
and there you see the starting pitcher they'll match up against as you look at his numbers on the right side of your screen. And behind him, here's how the Astros will line it up on defense. Here's the center fielder Coco Crisp to get us started in the home half of inning number one. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. Oh, and you wonder if maybe he decided beforehand just to take a pitch up there first. Too bad for him because that thing was right down Broadway. Chop foul at the plate here, and it's 0-2. Foul back. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Well, he watched that one all the way in, and it looked like he almost gave up on it. He's pretty lucky that wasn't called strike three. inside for a ball so he misses with two straight here and it's back to two and two and with his speed you gotta expect a challenge fastball right here because you don't want to run the risk of putting him on base and he tried to hold up that time we'll get an appeal down to third and no swing it's ball three got him And this should be a pretty interesting year for the Astros, not only because they have such a young ball club, but obviously it's their first year in the American League. It's going to take some time to get used to that change, especially playing in some of these ballparks that they're not real familiar with. Seth Smith will dig in here. And here's the first pitch. Right there for strike one. One out, nobody on. And this is hit well towards the hole. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one-out single. Yeah, a one-out base runner here in the bottom of the first. Now you've got the three, four, five guys coming up. Let's see if they can turn this into the first run of the ball game. Josh Reddick will get his first shot at it here. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. one -oh pitch now. This is sharply hit to the right side and with the first baseman holding that finds a hole that's a base hit. Let's train our show motion camera on that runner at first base. Here he might have had a shot to get around to third but you see him have to hold up to make sure the baseball doesn't hit him. And by the time he gets going again he knows he'll have to hold on at second base. Joannis Cespedes will get his first opportunity now. Oh, 
Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here, 0-1. Oh, They've got an opening here, so this is where you can really jump on a guy out there before he's settled in. Big lead there at second, now the pitch. One strike pitch is a fastball high, and that evens things at one. In there, one and two now. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Well, you know, you really hate to see this first inning opportunity slip away, especially with two guys on and your cleanup hitter up there. But now it's going to take a two-out hit from your number five guy to put a crooked number on the board. Brandon Moss steps in now. Got him to reach out of the zone for that one, strike one. And this is low, but it's corralled quickly, and both runners will have to hang on. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Nothing in the Oakland first. On to the second now from the Coliseum. Still scoreless. Carlos Pena leads things off now in the top half of the second. Carlos Pena. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. And these Oakland A's last year, after the way the Angels and Rangers loaded up in the offseason, who saw this coming? Their first AL West title since 2006. Yeah, I really enjoyed watching them play. I like their style of play. It's very fan-friendly. And, you know, let's face it, one of the biggest reasons they were successful was their starting pitching. And... I'd have to think that with more experience, those guys are just going to get better. Now, would I take them this year over the Angels or the Rangers? Uh, maybe not, but I sure wouldn't be shocked if they wound up winning the West again. One and two now. Now the pitch. Lays off the one two changeup and he's worked it back to two and two. And he misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now, three and two. Got him. Uh, and this is where the scouting report really pays off. I mean, sometimes you just got to go looking for a soft spot in the guy's zone, and, and they found one there. Justin Maxwell digs in at the plate. Center fielder. Justin, Justin Maxwell. Maxwell. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul.
Here's the pitch. Now a swing, and he popped him up. And no ordinary pop-up at that. This is way up there. And two quick outs here in the second. And he'll take a long exhale on his way back to the dugout. When he looks back on the tape of this, he'll realize that he needs to be a little more committed to his swing. You know, he had no chance of that working out well for him. J.D. Martinez will stand in here looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. And this ball will be chopped foul. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And the Astros have their first hit of the contest. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. We'll get a good look at this from up in our press box camp. You can see the two outfielders give chase, but this is almost perfectly between them as it finds a gap for a double. Jason Castro will stand in here for the first time, looking to pick up that runner from second with two away here. And he doesn't want him to get off to a big lead out there at second, so he steps off to look him back. Swing and a line drive to center field. Coming in is Coco, but this drops for a hit. And the opening salvo is fired here as they take a one to nothing lead. You want to talk about a guy putting his all into a throw? Well, watch this. Now that's what you call effort. Fernando Martinez will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Two out with the man at first. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. I changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Come set, now the pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. And now this is swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And Cespedes will put this one away to retire the side. Astros plate one on a couple of hits. On now to the bottom of the second. The Astros lead it. One to nothing. Brandon Moss will lead things off here as they'll have five, six, and seven due up to start the home second. Here's a slider to start things out, but it misses by a few inches or so. It's ball one. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. Outside, two and one. Yeah, and on two and one right now, you got to figure this guy's wound up for the fastball here. Maybe you come with the breaking ball here out of the zone and hope he goes after it. 
And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. Doing a good job right there of tying him up inside. Got in on his hands that time before he could get that barrel through the zone. Sets the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. One away. Josh Donaldson will stand in for the first time here. And this is fouled back and out of play. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Now here it comes. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's in there. Base hit. You talk about getting the bat head out front. <laughs> this is rifled up the middle. Can't square up a baseball any better than that. John Jason will step in now. And that pitch missed somewhere. It's a ball and no strikes. Oh, he wanted that one. Probably should have got it, too. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Runners on first with one down. Swing and a miss. Good sinking action there. One and two. Chop back to the mound. Can they turn it? Lowry back to first. And a great stretch there may be the difference. It's a double play and the inning is over. So no runs on one base hit. No error. Matt Dominguez ready to go here as we begin the third. Pulls the string on that one. One strike. And he misses with it. One and one. Now here's the pitch. And this is hit hard on the ground to first. Moss will just take this one himself for the out. One out now in the Houston third. And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. Cold strike at the letters, 0-1. And this is taken for a ball low. Pretty close there, but it's one and one. Sticking with the soft stuff here as this misses, it's two and one. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Oh, 
just did get a piece of that one so he stays alive here. And now a slider in there for a called third strike and there are two gone now. So bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring in the shortstop Jed Lowry. in there and it's 0 and 1. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. Oh, and he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. And you know what? That's not a big breaking ball coming up high and tight. That's going to get your attention a little. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Scott Sizemore makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. Yeah, with the bases empty, that's the right spot for that 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. And this is why, as a hitter, working the count in your favor is so important. I mean, here, this is probably a ball, but you can't risk taking this pitch on one and two and hope that you get the benefit of the umpire's call. You pretty much have to swing at it, even though you probably wouldn't have been able to do much with it in the first place. Adam Rosales will stand in. Now a ball lined towards center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Around first, digging for two now. This ball's absolutely drilled that time. You can see here in the bottom corner of your screen, that ball leaves his bat at 98 miles an hour. And that is a hard hit ball. Back to the top of the order now, and set to stand in the center fielder, Coco Crisp. Swing and a ball lifted into straightaway center. Maxwell is there now, and he has it, two gone. Well, they took him up the ladder right there with the fastball, and he actually did a pretty good job to get wood on it at all. But it's still an easy play out there in center field. Seth Smith will stand in. A base hit his first time around. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Mm, chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. Now 0-2, you got to be wary of that changeup. This is where he likes to throw it, and it doesn't always have to be a strike. And he misses there, one and two. A runner on first with two away.
Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. On now to the top of inning number four. Houston leads this one one to nothing. <laughs> 